where was that maze? I forgot. I think I can go further. No? Okay. <laughs> I forgot about the basement completely. Here we go, my guy. I wish to enter the labyrinth. Then say friend in Elvish. Oh my god. Friend in Elvish? Shit. Turns out the mental patient was a fucking Lord of the Rings geek. What person in their <laughs> right mind knows how to say friend in Elvish? Well, I don't know the word. Can you give me a hint? I'm afraid I can't grant any assistance to this enigma. What if I grant you a punch in the face? Uh, oh. uh, fruit, big, sweet, you eat it in the summer? Watermelon? It lacks water. A melon? A melon? Wait, is that true? <laughs> Here we go, night vision. I reached the first intersection. It had three exits, north, east, and west. I checked the map. Yep, E, uh, yeah, east. The first letter was E, so I took the path to the east. I was applying to the mustache dudes, you're not funny, man. <laughs> wow. Wow, my, okay, east, right? Okay. East, um... I reached the second intersection. It also had three exits, north, east, and west. I checked the map a second time. It said east? The second letter was also an E, so I took the east path. I would make an effort to check the map at every intersection as I proceeded. Yeah, okay, okay, I know, I would have done that. Didn't have to move. Oh, shit! I, I I was gonna check that box, man. <laughs> I was gonna check that box. Alright. Whoa! What is that? West. Oh my god! What the hell? Well, this is a horror game now. West, west. Man, we have to, um... It was north? No, east, east, west, west. What do I do against these dudes? I, I forgot what they said. Yeah, but the, the, the map says to west. So. Did I took two west? Oh. Oh, I can shoot him? Okay. Now it's north. North four times, huh? One, two, three, four. Oh my god. So not only that, I also have to... That's two and three. Those are the children that were kept too long in the place. <laughs> Only at an intersection you have to follow the letters. Only on a intersection. Oh, I'm taking... West, uh, west. Okay, so that means four north, one. Uh, okay, let's save at, at at each intersection. Not all, but you know what I mean. 
North one. Two. I'm dead. Oh, fuck. Phasmophobia of guns. Yep. John, so wait. North. <coughs> North. One. Two. Two. Three. And then four. That L place is not the second. Now three. Okay, so four now, right? Because it's like four norths, right? One more north. So east? East, south, east? Oh! No, John! You suck, dude! No, I'm kidding. Okay. Okay. <laughs> One more up, bro. No close threats or alarm. Oh, I thought I had to magic. That's three north now, so I, I have to go another north. Is that what you're saying? Or this is the fourth north. Oh my god, I can't, I can't, bro. I uh, once they get you, you can't do shit. the fourth those boxes I don't have any m ammo that's why I was going that's why I was going for the uh, box <laughs> I have no ammo bro okay they only need three shots Okay, okay, I'm, I'm focusing. So apparently, I'm, I'm gonna heal real quick because I have that ability unlocked. It slowly heals you, so. Uh, so one more north, right? So, east. East. Oh my god. Oh, south. Intersections. Intersections. I'm sorry. Fun junior. East, south, east. And south again. 
is south, east, south, south. On an intersection. Okay, south. East, south, east, south, south. Okay. Fuck! Fuck! Wait, this looks a little... North. East, south, south, north? So I just go back up? Shit, what do I do? What, what, do I go back north? So four intersections north, double north. Fuck. Where am I? It was east this time? Okay. I'll make a party save there. South. North. North. Two empty. I need. Come on, dude. North, east, north, west. North, east. North. North, east, north, right? I shouldn't have wasted the first couple parties. So now, northwest, right? East, or, or now north and west, right? Northwest. And then north, northwest, west. West, west, north. And then east. East, north, north, east. Wait. Something there we go. I found a suspicious brick that smelled like turkey. I pushed it and final chapter. There we go. This is it. I entered the secret door and left those dungeons behind. Ahead of me was a less dank portion of the basement. According to Mike, there had to be an elevator somewhere that went to General X's office, which should ultimately hold the original helicopter key. On the other hand, Robert told me that he heard of a special room with an X on its door, which could alternatively hold a copy of that key. Either option was fine as long as I could get a hold <laughs> of a damn working key. And thus, my search of the basement began. 
All right, guys, let's take a quick five minute breaks, like a quick uh, bathroom break, a smoke break, whatever. Grab some snacks. I'll be back in three or five minutes. All right, I'm back. It wasn't as long as I thought it would take. So there we go. Back in again. C1. Okay. You need four to get C4. <laughs> Could be. Could be. There it was. General X's private elevator. Hold on, let me see if I can get like the other C C ones. A door marked with an X, just like Robert told me. There it was. The secret room where they kept the helicopter key. Why would they keep a key in such a creepy place instead of an office? The more I thought about it, the more things felt out of place. I had a strange feeling, like a gut feeling that something was just wrong. Well, I didn't want to enter it anyway, so... Okay. I am moment of truth, John. C4. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> I think... I think C4 for this, you could probably blow it up. But first, let me get to that. Elevator. That's interesting. I do I have to use the C4 here, maybe? To use the explosive, I needed something to act as a timer. Wristwatch. I got that at the first chapter of the game, and I couldn't use it ever since. So, okay, that C4 doesn't work here. So, my guess is... Blow up the canister? Dude, no, I think it's this. I think it's this. Okay. I didn't even see the time. Well, whatever. I think I'm going to leave it there. Mr. Oh, Fox. shit. You have finally arrived. General X? The same. Are you searching for a key, Mr. Fox? Perhaps one for a helicopter? Hmm? You won't find it here, Mr. Fox. I'm afraid that your contact has betrayed you. <laughs> Fuck. Don't blame him. He's been the victim of my counterintelligence. Right there, in front of me, was General X, the puppet master of Operation Jericho. Not only was he a merciless, psychopathic asshole, he was so smart that he could predict my every move. Oh, come on. For starters, he tricked me and Robert into searching for this room. You had us waiting longer than expected, Mr. Fox. If you drew some arrows in the labyrinth, I would have come sooner. Hmm, that would remove a certain charm, don't you think? By the way, I brought some company. 
Colonel! Doctor! I see you're already acquainted. I'll get to the point, Mr. Fox. Surrender. Otherwise, we'll start executing our guests. There were too many people. If I opened fire, Harris and the Doctor could die. Let me guess. You're considering the option of shooting. But you know that Harris and the Doctor could die. Fuck, yeah. He read my mind, but that asshole X was a clean shot. If I shot quickly, I could kill him. Now you're probably thinking I'm stupid for being so exposed, and that you can kill me with a quick enough shot. If you shoot and kill me, that would be the end of the final boss. Of all of this, you'd be a hero. Do you really have such a low opinion of my intellect, Mr. Fox? Shit. This was part of his plan. He was here on purpose. Wow. I was thinking that he might have worn a bulletproof vest. By now, you should be thinking that I'm wearing a bulletproof vest. <laughs> wow. Shooting an armored man would be foolish, don't you think? Fuck. He read my mind once again. But even if his body was covered, his head was not. One bullet between his eyes and goodbye. But you're not a quitter, Mr. Fox. It's only logical that you'd consider shooting me in the head. I will admit, a challenging yet possible shot. An Olympian trial of marksmanship, reflexes, and luck. Let me spare you the trouble. Sergeant! Yes, sir! Shoot me in the head at point-blank range. But, sir! That's an order. Wow. Uh, yes, sir! What the fuck? The went through his head, <laughs> but the bastard was unfazed. What the fuck? Return to your post, Sergeant. Yes, sir! What? <laughs> <laughs> what you're staring at in awe, Mr. Fox, is a projected image of myself. A hologram? Precisely, Mr. Fox. And now that it's obvious that you can't kill me, let's conclude the matter of your surrender. Or are there not enough dead bodies to convince you? Just give me ten seconds to think about it. Of course. God. Always gone. <laughs> Irony, watch out. What are, what are we doing? Guys, you select the outcome. You tell me. God, always God, right? Do you believe in God, General? Of course. Who else would entrust me with such a sacred mission? And you, Deus Vault. Are you a praying man? Well, General, I'm more a believer of the Big Bang. Oh, here we go! <laughs> Doctor! I'm fine. What happened? An explosion. The guard behind you received the brunt of it. Colonel! Kick W, dude. He's alive. Looks like he just blacked out. We have to leave before reinforcements arrive. I'm taking Harris with me. It's best not to move him. We don't know if he has any fractures or internal wounds. I'll take the risk. He can't stay here. Right. Well, what are we doing? Going to the helicopter? Doctor, let's go. I'm not coming, Fox. Why not? There are injured that require my attention, and I don't want to leave my father alone. What? They were going to Big kill Bang you. <laughs> No, they weren't. It was just a trick to catch you. And if I leave, my father won't work and they'll kill him. Run! Go away! I'll come back for you with the cavalry. You have my word. I left that room, carrying the colonel. Wait, you're saying that you managed to rescue Colonel Harris? That's correct. Well, Mr. Fox, let's see what you invent to remove him from this story. Lieutenant, we found a corpse in the remains of the helicopter. What? Who is he? We don't know, Lieutenant. It was totally carbonized by the fire. Take him to the lab. I want a forensic analysis done yesterday. Do you understand me, Wachowski? Yes, sir. Fuck. We killed Colonel Harris. <laughs> May God wow. Forget. No, he's not Harris. The colonel died a month ago in an ambush. These are his personal belongings, his dog tag, his watch. Don't you remember, Sergeant? We found them on his corpse. That man has never seen the colonel. He's just trying to confuse us with his lies. Fuck's sake, he has absolutely no evidence for what he's saying. I have this. 
But what? Oh, shit. If I'm not mistaken, it's a graduation ring for the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Colonel Harris graduated in a 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. Sergeant, you don't believe him, do you? With all due respect, sir, I only said that Colonel Harris graduated in the 48th Commission of Officer Candidate School. <laughs> He's trying to fool us, Sergeant. I remind you that there are more <laughs> rings like this one. Yes, but not with the same smell. It reeks of shit. Sir, permission to smell the ring? No. Oh, Fuck. It smells just like Colonel Harris's anus. <laughs> what? How the hell do you know what the Colonel's anus smells like? I'm not authorized to reveal that information, <laughs> sir. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This is getting out of hand. Mr. Fox, continue your story. Let's see if we can finish this once and for all. Kick W. Oh, of course. Oh, shh. Yeah, okay, I have to fight him, right? Wait, maybe I can sh shake them off. But this is going to be interesting. Ah, shit. Now I'm fucked. Colonel, you're too heavy, dude. Shit. Did I get the key at all? What the fuck? There are three guards there, oh my god. Four! Four guards. Okay, let me think, think this through. I don't have any med, med kit, so I can't kill anyone. I could use this. Dude, this game has a really good soundtrack, by the way. Not gonna lie. I went up in the private elevator of... Lieutenant, they found a bullet in the carbonized corpse head. A bullet? So, it wasn't us after all. Colonel Harris was murdered. Hey friend, don't look at me. I haven't killed anyone. I'm not your friend. For fuck's sake, shut up. Wachowski, send the bullet to science officer Hollister for analysis and tell him to collate it with the gun Mr. Fox had on him. Maybe we'll have a surprise. I want the results of that five minutes ago. Understood? Yes, sir. Wow! That asshole General X had some cool music equipment. Multiband equalizer, auto-amplified subwoofer, and... No way. Double deck cassette player. Fuck, you could record directly from one cassette to another. Wow. 
Let me save. Finally. Okay. Now we can use the pots for quick saving. What is this? Oh. Fuck! I found out that bastard kept a fully stocked armory behind his office. Oh, okay. You already know. You already know what that means. It's gonna be a huge fight. Gonna be a huge boss fight or something. Yep. Can I go one more? I could go one more up. Um, let me just quickly save. <coughs> Just in case, you know. Okay. You were carrying gallons of pit. Yep. I finally reached the last floor. Lieutenant, we already have the ballistics results. And? You are right, sir. Ballistics established that the bullet was fired from Mr. Fox's gun. You killed Colonel Harris, you bastard. Now I Sir, get to watch you suffer? Behave. Hell yeah, Sir, it's Alex. permission to execute that assassin. Permission denied. First off, we can't confirm the identity of the victim until we have the forensics report. Second, according to policy, Mr. Fox has the right to finish his story. Mr. Fox, continue. And you better not contradict the evidence we're collecting. I think there were two more boxes down there, dude. I need to... I think those were medkits. Yeah, there we go. Good thing I came back. Lol. Dude, if you have seen the previous boss battles, like this final one is probably going to be insane. so soon and without a farewell that's not very neighborly of you and what's that on your shoulder that's personal property mr fox haven't your parents taught you never to steal general x stood in my way that is true assuming it was really him and not another hologram are you asking yourself if i'm another hologram <laughs> well yeah <laughs> no not this time it is i in the flesh Good. Then I'll... Put a bullet in my head. You read my mind. Please tell me, Mr. Fox. How does one shoot that which they cannot see? What? What the fuck? Oh my god, like stealth. A device, Mr. Fox. Optical electronic <laughs> hollow camouflage. The latest in nanotechnology. Obviously, if you start firing randomly, there's still a chance I may be hit. I believe dumb luck is a concept you're fond of? Hmm? So if you don't mind, I invite you to expend some ammunition with some friends. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Where the fuck is he? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you have many bullets left, Fox? <laughs> I imagine not. I suspect you've stashed some grenades, though. Let's drill <laughs> sergeant, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. No. Shit. 
Okay, um... Suck. <laughs> Suck, Cypher. <laughs> I think my stream is a little bit... Yeah, <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, it might be a little behind, dude. Might wanna... Uh, hop on to Twitch. Oh my god! Really? Really? <laughs> By the way, I want to use. There we go. I'm in guard mode. No! There we go. Perfect. Well, you should be low on ammo by now. Which means it's time to comfortably finish you. But Good, sir. So you know how to follow direction, and so we meet distracted with my friend. Oh, Ledger Sundar is a new weaver, man. You around and recover some of my stolen property. Oh, <laughs> I lost rings. Okay, that was the last one. Where is he? I can't see him. God. Shit. I think I have to like I have to use this grenade. Alright, here we go. No! I'm losing items. You managed to injure me, Mr. Fox. Sincerely, this was beyond my expectations. Luckily, you brought my first aid kits. Hope you don't mind that you're missing. Me. Wow. So, you've been stealing my stuff. Your stuff. Everything you've acquired is from my base, Mr. Fox. And as the proverb says, oh, okay, I see. one who steals from a thief will receive a hundred years of pardon. That bastard had been stealing from me while I was busy destroying his machines. And I'm sure he was going to steal more stuff as he needed it. Oh, come on. You've run out of first aid kits, Mr. Fox. Unfortunately, you'll be unable to heal yourself anymore. Fortunately, it also means that you've run out of them. Which adds to the thrill. Let the best man win. Wait, what? What the fuck? You bastard! Mr. Fox, first you complain because I remove your belongings, and now you complain again when I return them? What? Cheer up. I simply gave back your rusty wire. Although, maybe I've been a little brusque. You can find it between your ribs. By the way, Mr. Fox, Let's see if you can kill me before bleeding to death. Really? Good luck. Oh my god. I don't have any ammo. Great. I'll just use grenades, I guess. Alright, that's what we do.
Bro, he's almost dead. But I don't have any... Ah, oh, shit. Ow! Ah! Why did he give that rusty wire? Well, that sucks. Okay, so I have to watch out for... So, don't waste. Okay, so don't waste... Those, uh, grenades. How oh, they have to hit me though. Hit me. Okay, here we go. He, he stole god mode. Shit. Ah, why am I not... That was dumb. That was dumb. Okay, that was dumb. I need to use god mode immediately. Bro, I need to use god mode immediately. But I have to lose some... Or don't take any... Shit, can I drop him? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I have to do everything at the beginning. Now! There we go. No oh, shit, I almost had him.
Oh, I got him. I have underestimated you, Mr. Fox. Boss defeated. Damn, let's go. <laughs> What are you waiting for? Finish me. Time without paying for your crimes? No way. I'll take you to a trial so they condemn you and lock you in a cell to rot for the rest of your life. I see. Tell me, Mr. Fox, how are you going to take me if you can't move? What? Wow. You're so predictable. I knew you wouldn't kill me or let me die. Just like all of my other subordinates, they consistently led you directly into my trap, Mr. Fox. Honestly, I hope you were going to surprise me again, like that little spark in the basement. But once more, the pen is mightier than the sword. By the way, thanks for volunteering to test my new paralyzer. The discharge it releases shuts down the whole peripheral nervous system. You should have killed me when you had the chance. See you never, Mr. Fox. Damn, See you Colonel. Never, General X. Are you all right, son? Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry. The effects on the paralysis will wear off soon. But it's not prudent to stay here. Come on, stand up, Fox. I'll help you walk. Damn. Yeah, was that in? Colonel Harris and I went to the helicopter. Damn. A few minutes later, when I regained my motor skills, we took off. Lieutenant, we have the forensic report of the carbonized corpse. Hand it to the sergeant. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Looks like we can finally prove that Mr. Fox has been lying. Sergeant, what does the report say? And the physiological study confirms that the corpse with identification C4423 measures three inches taller than Colonel Alan Harris, disproving his identity. What? Then he's not the colonel. Of course not. I told you, Sergeant. Care to explain this, Mr. Fox? Are you going to tell us that he was tortured on a rack until it stretched him three inches? That would be ridiculous. He's not Colonel Harris. I never said he was. You what? You just told us that you both flew away in that helicopter. I told you we escaped together, but never said that corpse was Colonel Harris. In fact, I have no idea who it is. Are you sure you found it in the helicopter? Did you plan it yourselves to incriminate me? Like some dirty cops? How dare you! Enough games, Mr. Fox, enough. We'll find out who you are, and then we'll execute you. What now? Damn. What's happening in here? Colonel, let's go. Colonel in the room, salute. That is. Colonel Harris, you, you're alive. Sir, we, we thought you passed away. As you can see, Lieutenant, I'm alive and kicking. Why is this man handcuffed? We were interrogating him. He's a spy that we captured, sir. A spy? Are you pulling my leg? He's a civilian who was imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. <laughs> Let's He's go. So the man that not only saved my life <clears throat> and freed me from the ex army base, but also he found classified information about Operation Jericho. So it was all true. The essential in stopping the ex army. <laughs> for goodness sakes, that man's a fucking hero. <clears throat> Release him immediately. Y yes, sir. <laughs> Did you tell them your heroic feat, Fox? I was at when we entered the helicopter, Colonel. But it looks like they found a corpse in the helicopter. But fuck, I don't know who he is. They say he has a bullet in his head, and it came from my gun. But I haven't killed anyone. That corpse was General X. I killed him with your gun myself. Don't you remember? See you never, General X. Later, while you were regaining your senses inside the helicopter, I retrieved General X's corpse and dragged it to the helicopter's aft. That bastard was heavy. In the air, you know what happened. 
Hurry up, Fox. They're following us. Don't rush me, Colonel. I'm getting used to the controls. This piece of junk has levers and buttons everywhere. But don't panic. I think we'll be able to reach Allied territory before they catch up. Am I gonna? Yeah, I'll call the cavalry. Am I gonna? Charlie Alpha, Charlie Alpha, five four four three A. Do you copy? Damn it! This radio isn't working. Fucking piece of shit. Don't worry, Colonel. As soon as we reach Allied territory, they'll stop pursuing us. Don't worry, son. With no radio, when this fully armed piece of Soviet junk pings their radar. The first thing they're gonna do when we don't answer is take us down. Fuck. So we'll be shot at if we keep going, or we'll be shot at when we turn around. Affirmative. We're between a rock and a hard place. We'll abandon the helicopter as soon as we cross the border. I'm gonna search for the parachutes. But jumping would still be risky in this jungle terrain. You have them, Colonel? We're nearly there. There's only one, Fox. You jump and deliver the documents to the Allies. Are you insane, Colonel? They won't believe me. And you don't know how to pilot this junk. I'm dead to them anyway. You're young. You have your life ahead of you, son. Take this ring. Show it to them. They'll believe you. Fuck, it reeks of shit. <laughs> well, that's because those asshole bastards were going to snatch it as they put their hands on me. So I hit it. And the only safe place of I course. have left. My ass. <laughs> Come on, son, put on the parachute. Colonel, you need to jump and tell them everything yourself. We argued about who had to jump, but I had to admit that Mr. Fox had one convincing argument. Fox, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, son. We are running out of time. For heaven's sake, put on the parachute. Of course. <laughs> the next thing I remember was waking up, <laughs> hanging from the parachute tangled to a tree. <laughs> the owner of a farm who spotted me arrived a few minutes later. After tending to my wounds and offering me food, he was so kind as to bring me here to the base. The lieutenant and the sergeant were shocked and immediately apologized. A few days later, the army decorated me with two medals. Nice. Jesse Fox. <laughs> rescuing an MIA military colonel and recovering intelligence on Operation Cherico. I, Colonel Alan Harris of the 5th Battalion, award you a Purple Cross of Civilian Courage. <laughs> that medal really exists? It didn't. They had to invent it, as they had nothing that they could provide for a civilian. You're also awarded the Gandhi Medal of the <laughs> National Idiot. <laughs> National Idiot? Well, I received it because I didn't kill any enemies at all during the escape. As you know, militaries don't get why killing is wrong. Well, at least we agree on that. So, thanks to the documents I found, the Allies could find and sink every related submarine. The military base, docks, and Omega building were the target of a large operation. Everyone was arrested. Robert, the paparazzi, published the story and won a Pulitzer Prize. The two doctors and their two fathers two dedicated dogs. themselves to finding a cure for cancer <laughs> using nanonuclear weapons. Wasn't it one doctor? That's what they wanted us to believe. The captain of that boat? Retired with my $50 million, but he died of gonorrhea the week after. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> nah, but he would have deserved it. And I went back to my old life as a smuggler. <laughs> the end. <laughs> that's why I naturally... Jesse, that's the most incredible story ever told. My god, you have an amazing imagination. You should be a video game writer. <laughs> you don't believe me. Not a word. Thank you very much, Miss Incredulous. Hey, who are those guys? Must be an improvised patrol. Don't say a word if they don't ask you anything. Good morning. May I see your passports, please? Good morning. 
Here you are. Very well. Let's see. Fuck. You're Jesse Fox. Damn. Uh, yeah, that's me. Holy Jesus. I can't believe it. Hey, Jimmy. Who is that guy? Fuck, Mike. He's Fox. Mike. <laughs> I really admire you, Mr. Fox. You're a fucking hero. Thanks, soldier. Here are your passports. Go, drive carefully. Another mic. Damn. Got him. <laughs> are you okay? You've been very quiet. <laughs> Stop the car. What's up? Then it's true. It's all true. Now do you believe me? Kiss me. What? Kiss me now. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Damn. That was a great that was a great game, bro. That was great. <laughs> Man, these developers need need a good Holler, you know what I'm saying? That was good. I really enjoyed this game. I really enjoyed this game. It was actually really fun. A really great game. Let's see if there's something that sounds more like a fab than a clap. Damn. <laughs> okay. Okay, Silas. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Who the fuck is this <laughs> Colonel Alan Harris? I don't know. Yesterday I met that guy in a bar. He was nice. I told him that I was going to slog as a guard here today. And he said if I pretended he rescued the Colonel and put wow. him when he drove by, that he'd give me a hundred wow, okay. bucks for saying four sentences. Can you believe it? Good morning. Come on, so it was a lie? Good morning. Here you are. <laughs> wow. Ever. <laughs> People make up stupid shit just to score. Yeah, dude. <laughs> wow. Damn, alright. That was on metal, guys. What a great game. That was great. GG's. We finally finished this. Uh yeah, it was all alive. <laughs> So, but before we go, guys, um, you know, as we always do, uh, we rate someone at the end. Stay around for the rate. Thank you all so much for joining. Be sure to subscribe and follow. And I'll see you guys on the next stream. Bye-bye.